everybody, welcome back to A Late Show. Before we go any further, let's check in with our friend, John Baptiste. John, it's good hey, to see yeah. you. Good to see you, man. Especially Always. in these crazy times oh. and, 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 and these often dark times. This story out of Kenosha, Wisconsin oh, is, is uh, so upsetting. Yeah, it, uh, it troubles me. Jacob much. Blake, to have this happen uh, again after the, this summer uh, of action activity, of of uh, police forces around the United States saying they're listening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it, it it really saddens me, but we have to call this out and not let this become the norm. This isn't normal, and every time this ha every time this happens, we have to be outraged, and we have to stand up and speak the truth. And the truth is that his life mattered. His life matters. We're praying yes. for him, and we're sending mm -hmm. prayers to his family. And we're also an example for the children. He had three of his children with him. His children and the children of the world all across the world are watching us. They're watching us for our cue. So we got to put more love in the world. The world needs more love right now. That's true. And I also send my prayers out to uh, Jacob Blake and his family. John, could, could you, could you uh, give us a little hopeful music as we, as we go out? Oh, absolutely. John Baptiste, everybody. Thank you, John. Yes. Folks, night one of the RNC is over, and now everyone is looking forward to the speech tomorrow night from First Lady Melania Trump, seen here living a rich and happy life. There's a lot of anticipation for her appearance, especially since parts of her last RNC speech in 2016 were famously plagiarized from Michelle Obama. She received a lot of flack from critics, but like Melania always says, when they go low, we go high. And people are curious about what the First Lady has to say after recent signs of tension between her and President Trump, like this moment from last week. Getting off Air Force One, he tries to hold her hand, she pulls away, he tries again, she's not having it. Evidently, his outreach to women voters is not going well. One of the few things we do know is that the First Lady intends to deliver her remarks from the newly renovated Rose Garden. She personally oversaw the redesign, and pictures emerged this weekend showing that it has gone from this to this. It is hard to have something so green and so stark at the same time. It makes me miss the warmth of her Christmas blood forest. And while everyone is speculating about what the First Lady might say there tomorrow, we don't have to wait, because joining me now is the First Lady of the United States, Melania Trump. Madam First Lady, thank you so much for being here. Hello, Stephen. Happy Elephant Convention to you. Thank you very much. Uh, Ma'am, it is a little different this year, though. How are you enjoying the virtual convention so far? I'm virtually enjoying it, Stephen. Okay. Now, every, everyone's really curious about your big speech tomorrow. Would you be willing to give us a preview of what it'll look like? Oh, absolutely, Stephen. It will look like this. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I have no doubt, but what I, what I meant, that's enough, what I meant are, what are you going to say? Oh, the speeching part of the speech. Oh, oh yes. okay, okay. Uh, I know Donald Trump. He is a profoundly decent man, guided by faith. He was a terrific vice president. He knows- Wait, vice president? Oh, Ma'am, that's Michelle Obama's DNC speech about Joe Biden. You're just copying her again. Well, she copied me when she said it is what it is. No, that's what your husband said about the coronavirus death count. Yes, but before that, it was my wedding vows. Do you take Donald Trump? Uh, it is what it is. And I still mean it, darling. Well, that, that reminds me, ma'am, how is your relationship with the president? Because a lot of people have been talking about that video where he reaches for your hand getting off Air Force One and you repeatedly rebuff him. Stephen, what do you mean rebuff? Trust me, it's been years since we buffed. Oh! Okay. okay. You know. I do. Now, you recently oversaw a major renovation of the White House garden. Oh, yes, it, it hadn't been cleaned in years. Underneath all those plants, there was dirt. 
everywhere. Oh. I'm no doubt, but the changes were pretty extreme. You you really did clear out the most colorful foliage. Oh yes, I use my own technique called reverse Marie Kondo. I look at something, and if it sparks joy, I kill it. Well, people seemed particularly mad when they saw some of the crab apple trees that were planted by First Lady Jackie Kennedy, and they're now gone. Madam First Lady, did you chop down those trees? No, oh, Stephen. I cannot tell a lie. I really don't care, do you? <laughs> chop, 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 chop. I am shocked the Secret Service allows you to have that. Nah. Okay, so you're giving your speech from the Rose Garden tomorrow. What is it about the Rose Garden that's so important to you? Oh, Stephen, there is just something about the roses that have always reminded me of my husband. Because they're romantic? No. Because they smell and they have tiny pricks. Oh, Georgie, give me a high five. Oh, gosh. You know what? I'm going to write that down. That's good for the speech. Madam First Lady, are you sure you're able to give a heartfelt endorsement of your husband tomorrow? Of course, Stephen. Because if there is one thing that is absolutely clear to me, it is this. Despite our many differences, we must come together for four more years of Donald Trump. Wow, that, that is a strong statement. Is that from your speech? No, those are the terms of my renegotiated prenup. Just four more years, just four more. <laughs> Melania Trump, everybody. But just for four more years. <laughs> we'll be right back with the hosts of Pod Save America. Thank you, ma'am.